We've seen AI tools like Midjourney and Dali 3 making waves because of their ultra-realistic art capabilities. But what if I told you that you can create even better art with free AI tools? No, it's not a joke. Look, I've spent several weeks finding and testing dozens of tools that are not only better, but are absolutely free to use. Now, these tools are some of the best alternatives for Midjourney and Dali 3, and they are totally free. You don't even need any artistic or technical experience to use them. But the question is, can AI really replace human artists? Well, let's find out together. Now, before I show you the tools, show me some love, smash that like button, and I may just be tempted to show you a tool that can edit several artworks at the same time. Okay, so our first tool is MageSpace, and it's going to blow your mind, except for the fact that you can generate unlimited pictures for free. You can also increase the quality of your image with the enhance feature and add them to a private library so that no one except you knows that they exist. So let's go and try it out. Now the first step is to open your browser and type mage.space into the search bar. You'll immediately be taken to this page that you see here. And as you can see, I have not yet created an account. So let's see if we can even create artworks without an account. Let's enter our first prompt, which is a galaxy of donuts spinning in space. Yes, I like that. As soon as I clicked on the arrow button to generate my image, I immediately got two pop-ups. One of them was about the generation time, which is less than five seconds, by the way. And the other was about the paid plans. Now, before we talk about this, let's go and see our image. Okay, so I can see donuts, but I do not see any resemblance of space. I couldn't even upscale it when I tried to, but well, that's just probably due to my network connectivity because well, I've got this error down here. So <clears throat> let's move on. At this corner, we can see some details about our image. This includes the model, the model version, guidance scale, dimension, seed, step, scheduler, refiner mode, and refiner percentage. But I don't remember selecting any of those when I clicked on the arrow. So what happened? Well, you can access advanced settings by clicking on this button here. Then you'll be able to adjust the settings as you wish. And if you make a mistake or would like to go back to the default settings, you can just click on clear. And the settings will be automatically restored for you. Now also when I clicked on the upgrade button and saw the pricing plans, I discovered that I can only choose models if I buy at least the basic plan for $8 per month. And if I buy the pro plan, well, I can increase the number of steps and use the platform without ads even though I didn't notice any ads when I was generating the image. Anywho, the Pro Plus plan costs $30 per month and you'll get access to all of MageSpace's features, including GIF creation and multi-artworks that will allow you to generate more than one image at once. But now, how do we download our image? Well, you'll see four icons. Clicking on this one will let you copy the link to your image. This one will let you bookmark or save your image, but it's only available if you create an account, which I'm not going to do. You can download your image by clicking the download button or give it a like by clicking on the love button. But again, you will need to first create an account. Now look, you don't necessarily need to create an account to use any of MageSpace's features, but if you want to make your generations private, create another image on the same prompt, combine artworks or even delete them, you will definitely need to create an account. Now, if you've learned anything from this video so far, please make sure to show your support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, because as they say, sharing's caring. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to show you a tool that can generate artworks at an insane speed next. But moving on, let me show you a tool that can edit more than one image at the same time. It's none other than Playground AI. It is a really fantastic tool that can generate up to four high quality artworks at once without paying a dime. And this is a huge contrast to Mage Space that requires you to pay a hefty amount to generate more than one image at the same time. Now, the only thing I do not like about Playground is the forced tutorial. Now, to give you a better grasp of what I'm talking about, let's just get right into the demo. All right, so you can access this page by clicking on the link in the description and then click on Get Started for Free if you don't have an account already. You'll be taken to this page. And as you can see, there is no button that allows me to skip this tutorial. So I'm going to need to go through it as I talk to you about some of its premium plans. On the free plan, which I'm currently using, you can only generate up to 500 artworks per day and up to four artworks at once. And you can use any of these artworks commercially without giving any credit to Playground, even though you should. 
The number of artworks may be limiting, but look, I think it's fantastic considering that you can create a thousand artworks per day on its pro plan for just $15 per month. And if you buy the turbo plan at $45 per month, you'll get up to 2,000 artworks per day. On the flip side, I think this tutorial thingy is a good thing because, well, I'm now through with the first stage. And no, I'm not interested in learning further, at least not in this video. Now, when you look at the left side of the screen, you'll see some options that allow you to add a filter, a preset, and some other options. You can also enter your prompt and expand it with AI if you wish, but I'm not going to be doing it for this video. And as you can see here, I already have a prompt and a negative prompt written out for me. And this is because I have just completed the tutorial. So I'll just highlight that and paste my prompt. I'll also clear the negative prompt and add a filter. So let's see what we get. Okay, so it took about 10 seconds to generate four artworks, which is faster than compared to MageSpace. Uh, that took five seconds for a single image. I got identical and really colorful artworks, but none of them seem to be floating. Well, if you want to give Playground a try, you know where to go. Down screens, description box. Now, I've got some more amazing tools for you. And if you're a fan of donuts, let me know your favorite type in the comments. Mine's chocolate with sprinkles on the top. <laughs> Our next tool is Imagine. And it was created by Meta, the creators of WhatsApp and Facebook. Now, unlike the two tools we have used so far, Imagine is much simpler and does not have any paid plans. Yeah, it is totally free. And the artworks it generates are of a very high quality too. Now you do need to create an account though before you can use these tools. And you can do that with your Facebook, Instagram, or Gmail accounts. Super easy. Now if you're new to Imagine, you're going to get a notice like this and be prompted to create an account. Sadly, it isn't available in all locations yet, so you may need to download a VPN like Surfshark to use it. If you want to know more about VPN, you've got to go check out this video here. Mm -hmm. See it there? Good. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure to watch it so that you don't get locked out of this tool. Now that I have access, I'll just paste my prompt in this chat box here and hit generate. Imagine is surprisingly fast as I got four artworks in about three seconds. I mean, this is amazing. And the artworks are more creative. And this last one has an indication of space. So I'm giving it 10 out of 10 on all grounds. Now think about it. It's easy to use and generates high quality artworks at an insane speed. What could be more amazing than that? Well, it's our next tool and it's none other than Bing Creator. It's one of the many features offered by Microsoft, but it can be accessed on any browser, including Chrome and Safari. Now, unlike the other tools, Bing Creator has a surprise feature that will create a set of four artworks based on a random prompt and whenever you generate an image, you'll get an extra prompt for free. But it's up to you to use or ignore it. And that's not even the amazing part. If you look at this corner here, you'll see that I have 77 points of what looks like coins. They are called boosts. And you can use them to increase the generation speed, which is usually about 15 seconds and would only consume one boost point. But if you run out of boosts, click on the link in the description to find out a simple trick to get 100 boosts for free. And you can use this trick as many times as you want, but you can only have a maximum of 100 boosts per time. This means that you can only refill your boosts if they are less than 100. And if you decide to not refill your boosts, you can still generate artworks, but it's going to take slightly longer. Aha, look at that. Our galaxy of donuts have now been created. And as you can see, they are inconsistent with my prompt and are of a high quality. Now to download them, simply click on any image and click on download. You can add it to your collection by clicking save or share it with your friends when you click on this pink button. As for the customize button, it'll take you directly to Microsoft Designer where you can make it into a flyer. It is also free, so make sure to try it out with the link in the description below. Coming down to our next tool, Lexica, and I promise you that it's better than Midjourney Crayon. It also has a very straightforward interface with no special features, but it has zero ads, which is good news. Before I discuss how it works, give me a shout out in the comments and support me by liking this video. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Then click on the link in the description to get to the page. You'll notice this slider and this little navigation bar. The slider can be used to adjust the number of artworks you can see on your screen. And the navigation bar is for switching between the AI models that Lexica uses.
So I'll choose stable diffusion, but you can use any one that you like. Then tell me if it has any special effects in the comments. With that settled, let's click on generate and go to our art generation dashboard. We're here, and as you can see, there are no special features. So we'll just enter our prompt and click generate again. Okay, so it took only about five seconds to generate four artworks and they were all high quality and consistent with my request. As you can see here, there are a lot of donuts and yeah, they're all floating in space. Except that this donut is incomplete. And the first image has the donut lying on a flat surface instead of floating. This is amazing, no doubt, but Lexica has some limitations. On the free plan, you can only generate 48 artworks per week, which adds up to 192 artworks per month, which is still cool. You can buy the starter plan at $10 to generate 1,000 artworks per month, or 3,000 if you buy the pro plan for $30. Now, the max plan costs double the pro plan, and you'll get 7,000 generations per month, and your artwork will be kept private. So what do you think of the quality of these images? Are they better than mid-journey? Or are you still having those second thoughts? Please let me know in the comment section below. Our final tool is dreamlike art, and it can bring any of your imaginations to life. But just like Lexica, you'll get 24 credits if you're on the free plan, and you can use this to generate 10 artworks, which is two sets if you get five images per generation. Now this is pretty cool, but when it's compared to the core plan, which costs $16, now the pro plan is $30, and it'll give you 12,000 credits and access to generate up to 20 images at once. But if you want to queue up to 30 images and generate 30,000 images per month, you can buy the Ultra Plan for $60. So for this, I'll be using the free plan, but you can save up on your yearly plan if you use the link in the description box below. Right, so let's just go and explore its dashboard, shall we? At the left part of the dashboard, you'll see some settings that you can move around as you please. You can only generate an image if you create an account, so go and do it quickly. And you can meet me at the next step. Ah, you're back. Now, if you remember, I reduced the number of images to four, but it has been reduced to five after I signed in. This may be a sign that your settings are not automatically saved, so always make sure to save your work so you don't lose them. Now, surprisingly, I have 50 credits instead of 24 credits, like we say in the pricing section. And this is probably because, well, I just created a new account, so it's all good. My images are still generating, but as you can see, they are generating individually which is a considerable disadvantage because most art generators can generate up to four images at once. But when compared to MageSpace, this is a huge advantage for dreamlike art because, well, MageSpace only allows you to generate one image per session. Well, my friends, we have come to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know which of these tools are you going to use instead of mid-journey. And if you want to create something more dynamic, please go watch this video here for AI tools that can turn your text into animated videos you can thank me later. <laughs> Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.